Okay, so here's problem five. Uh, it says, after a long time, current exists in only one branch of this circuit. Uh, at this long time, if the battery voltage is 10 volts, what's the voltage across uh, this micro, uh, this 50 microfarad capacitor? Okay, so they tell us that we're gonna have 10 volts. And the key to this problem here is really that it's after a long period of time. After a long period of time, whatever branch in the circuit has a capacitor, so this branch, and also this branch, uh, the current after a long time is going to be equal to zero in both of those branches. So if the current is equal to zero in this leftmost branch and this uh, branch here that I've also got labeled, that means that oh, the current can only flow over here on the outside after a long time. That's because the capacitors are fully charged up and they produce a voltage that equals to the voltage of the battery. So there is no reason for charge to flow anymore. Okay, so with that being said now, all we have to do in order to solve this problem is we're simply going to do a loop. We're going to start over here. We're simply going to do a loop that includes this capacitor. And why do I want to include that capacitor? Because they're asking me for what the voltage is across that capacitor. So I should do a loop rule that includes that capacitor. So again, I'm going to go in the uh, counterclockwise direction here, okay? And if I have this as my starting point, the first thing I encounter is a 10 volt battery. So I add plus 10 volts. The next thing I encounter is a resistor. Now the voltage drop across a resistor is the resistance times the current flowing through it. However, we just said there is no current flowing through it. So we don't have to worry about this one. I equals to zero. There is no voltage drop across a resistor if there's no current. Okay, and then the last thing I have to encounter over here is a uh, 50 microfarad capacitor. So I'm also going to have a voltage across there. And that's really what I'm trying to find. This is the 50 microfarad capacitor. And I go back to where I start. Uh, that has to be equal to zero. So at the end, this is a very simple problem actually. The voltage across the 50 microfarad capacitor is simply going to be equal to the voltage of the battery in this case, which is 10 volts. Okay, so the correct answer for this one uh, has to be choice C.